More than 500 people attempted to cross the channel in small boats yesterday, the highest number so far this year for a single day. It comes as the government stands off uh, with the Lords over the bill to send migrants to Rwanda. Well, 514 migrants were recorded crossing the English Channel yesterday in 10 small boats. That's the highest number of attempted crossings so far this year and the most since December last year when 519 migrants were detected. Well, yesterday's uh, total is also the single highest number of crossings made in March since records began in 2018. Let's cross to Westminster and speak to our political correspondent, Matthew Thompson. Uh, Matthew, uh, what will uh, the government be making uh, of these numbers? Well, look, at the moment, it's actually potentially a useful tool for the government because what they can do, what they are saying, the Home Office has pointed us to a statement in which they've said this demonstrates exactly why our Rwanda plan needs to work and they can start throwing it back onto Labour and other crossbench peers in the Lords who they say are blocking their attempts to get this Rwanda bill through Parliament, which is obviously locked in what they call ping-pong between the House of Commons and the House of Parliament, at, uh, the House of Lords and the House of Commons at the moment. It's not due to come back now until after after the Easter recess. Labour, on the other hand, well, they say that this just shows that the government's really got a problem on its hands that it has no ability to solve. And just in the last few minutes, in fact, Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper uh, gave this short statement. Well, we've seen now that more people arrived on small boats yesterday than the government is planning to send to Rwanda in the next 12 months. And that just shows the gimmick that is the Rwanda policy that involves them sending £500 million to Rwanda for just 300 people. So at the moment, it kind of suits both sides to spin in their own political directions. But what is going to be concerning, although they won't actually say it in the Home Office and in Number 10, is if you look at how many people have come across on boats so far this year, it's 10% up on last year, it's 25% up on the year before. And once the Rwanda plan eventually gets through, as many people think it will, the real concern in number 10 will be if that number keeps going up as flights to Rwanda start taking off, and it may completely undermine the entire justification for the scheme, which was to act as some sort of deterrent to the people coming across the channel.